we need this. We need to actually have more of the debates so that people can really come out. A group of residents in Parkchester came out to a political debate held at St. Helena Church on Olmsted Avenue to hear from three Democratic candidates vying for the 87th Assembly District seat, formerly held by current State Senator Louis Sepulveda of the 32nd Senate District. I believe we have an overall affordability crisis in this community. Um, we have some of the highest foreclosure rates in, in some of the areas of the district where we have private houses. Karines Reyes, a registered oncological nurse at Montefiore Medical Center and a union organizer, is up against 18-year combat veteran with the U.S. Army, John Perez, who is also a single father. Overall, education, uh, hospital issues, housing, these are all common issues that are, are, are being exposed exploited throughout the whole city. Longtime educator and community activist Farah Despains is also in the race. What are the top areas that you're going to be looking at and wanting to see change? Education, economic development, and programs for youths and seniors. Here were the rules the candidates were given one minute each for their opening statement. Questions from the audience were read by moderator Malak Musla, with each given 45 seconds to respond, with 30 for rebuttal and an additional 30 for a last say. Their first question was on their experience in government. And I've worked with Louis Sabuveda. Back out with the youngest. Uh, ever accepted and led the East Tremont Merchants Association as well as, as well as the Bathgate Local Development Corporation. As a registered nurse and as a union le union leader and union advocate, I have been lobbying in Albany for all the things that matter to people in this community: single payer health care, safe nursing to patient ratios. Um, environmental issues. The questions were broad, allowing the guests to get to know their stance on issues. Tell us what do you see is wrong now, and do you promise to fix it when you win? One of my major concerns out here is the educational factor. We have an affordability crisis in the sense where we have seniors that can't afford their medications, people can't afford rent. We have an affordability crisis where we don't have the funds to um, give to our students and our schools. We have problems in terms of economic development. We know that we have problems in terms of education. We know that we have problems in terms of health care. Hospitals in the Bronx are overcrowded, especially Montefiore. What would you do to fix this problem? For us, it's passing the safe staffing bill. It's about getting safe nurse to patient ratios in the hospitals. The Parkchester community, the Bronx's second most densely populated next to Co-op City, is also richly diverse. Each candidate expressed their support for the translation of materials to ensure all participate in government. Other hot button issues, the MTA fare hikes, with all agreeing that upgrades are needed, with Perez saying a fare increase is not the immediate answer. On charter schools, Perez and Despain's favor funding for public schools first over charter. Meanwhile, Reyes vowed to address the campaign for fiscal equity ruling, promising billions to city schools. All are against the federal Muslim ban, with Reyes saying she'll sign off on all state legislation that makes New York City a sanctuary city. I thought it was an amazing event um, put on by Parkchester Times. I think that this debate pretty much showed how people were educated in terms of the different issues at hand and the implementation of finding some type of solution. Along with bringing the issues of this community to to the forefront. This forum was all about encouraging voters to turn out on September 13th. For Rocksnap, this is Arlene Makoko.